Now that I'm looking at that image and I like it and I want to share it, I want to share it on Facebook. Lightroom comes pre-packaged with Facebook. Not all of these are pre-packaged. Some of these are other published services that I have. But Facebook is a already set up inside of Lightroom. All you need to do is set it up. So you're going to click on the setup button and you're going to go over to your Lightroom area. It's going to open this dialog box and it's going to ask you to authorize yourself. Now I'm already authorized as Jared Platt because that is my name and I've already authorized myself several times and so Lightroom already knows who I am. And so I'm going to not worry about that but you will have to authorize yourself by clicking on authorize, it'll open up your account, you'll put in a code, and, or you'll, you'll say yes, it's okay for Lightroom to use this, and then it'll let you in. Um, once you've done that, then you can come up to the description, and you can say, just a shot of my little, actually I'm gonna say, he's almost a pro. There we go, he's almost a pro. And then I'm going to share that. And I can see it's got access to all of my albums here. And so I'm going to tell, I want all of these to go into, uh, let's see. Let's put it on our timeline. So it'll just go onto the timeline. And I'm going to, you could also create a new album. Um, and I, all this other stuff is very specific. You could rename your file on the way up. Uh, you can do a lot of that stuff, but that's stuff that you can, you can you know, learn later to get more complicated. It, because it's Facebook, it already set up this. You don't need to resize it or change it. It wants a 960 pixel image, so just leave it. Um, and then, of course, at the very bottom, if you have watermarking um, reasons to watermark something, put your name on it or whatever, you can do that here by just clicking on watermark, and you can choose a watermark or you can set up your own watermark and edit it here. That's where you would set up your watermark. You could either choose a text or a graphic watermark, and then you get to choose where it's going to go, and you can see that it's showing up right there. You can increase or decrease the size of it. All of that is available. Just play with it. It's very easy to understand. Um, and then once you've done that, in this custom list, you would save one of your, save it as preset down at the bottom, save create, set, uh, save current setting as a new preset, and then from then on out, it will be available in this drop down list. I'm gonna choose one that I already have, click on that, and now I'm going to any photo, I hit save, and now any photo that I drag into this little area right here, it's going to save it to that specific, um, uh, it's going to save it to that specific uh, album on your Facebook. So I'm going to grab this guy. Let me go to the grid, grab him, drag him in there, just like that. And you can see that there's only one photo ready to be published. And I go up to the top area here and click Publish. When I click that Publish button, it's going to share this image. And it's immediately going to Facebook right now. It's publishing it on Facebook. We can't show it to you right now because we can't know what's going to be on Facebook, but um, this image has now been shared on Facebook and I didn't even have to go to Facebook to do it. So this is a great way to update your friends and family or to update your clients about the images that you're shooting without ever having to leave Lightroom.